What is good everybody? This is Koza and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, I'm going in depth, finally giving you all the 610 taller dribble tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be giving you guys all of my animations on my 610 build, some recommendations for the seven foot build. I'll be showing you guys the basic controls of what you need to know when you're dribbling on a taller build this year. And as always, after I show you guys the basic controls, so you guys get the knowledge on what the basic controls do, we'll be diving into some combos y'all could start doing to not only practice and get that muscle memory down, but also perform these combos on the court. So if y'all ready for today's video, go ahead and drop a like, show me some love, man. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want more content like this. Comment down below any video you guys want to see. I've been being pretty responsive and giving you guys the content you want. Without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, these are my animations for my 610 build. I'm using pro dribble style. Now, on my seven footer, I'm using normal, which still isn't a bad option. For size up, I'm using Giannis on both. Regular breakdown combo, I'm using pro here, but we don't get that on the seven footer. Escape moves, Kevin Durant. Now, you have to use normal on the seven footer. Crossover, Giannis again. Behind the back, the 610 gets pro, which is a really good behind the back here. Thank you. And for the step back is the biggest part. Now, 6'10s and 6'11s can get Vince Carter step back, which that will be what we're going over in today's video. A really good animation there. The seven footer doesn't quite get that. So you're back to using normal there. But these are all the animations that I'm going to be showcasing in today's video on my 6'10. Let's grab the controller cam and dive into it. All right, so now let's go over the Giannis size up controls. Now, your size up controls is anytime you're flicking the right stick stationary, standing still without holding turbo. So we're going to be stationary here. If we want to get a crossover animation, we're going to go up that angle towards this off ball hand so if the ball is in our left hand i'm gonna go up the angle to the right to get this crossover move and if the ball is in our right hand we're gonna go up the angle to the left to get this crossover move now Giannis does have a really good tight fast crossover in his signature size up animation now if we want to do an in between the legs we're gonna go horizontally to the right or to the left depending on where our ball hand is now if our ball is in the left hand now if we flick it directly horizontal to the side we're gonna get this in between the legs animation here i kind of messed up on the first one went a little bit too high but if you go directly horizontal, you're gonna get this in between the legs animation here. And you guys can chain them, chain them together like this. And for the behind the back, we're gonna go flick it down a diagonal towards the off ball hand. So if the ball is in our left hand, we're gonna go down a diagonal to the right, just like that. And if the ball is in our right hand, we're gonna go down diagonal to the left, just like that. And we get that behind the back animation. Something to note is that his crossover is the fastest animation here. As you can tell, right, just like that, looking at all the animations, his crossover is definitely the snappiest and the fastest. So if you want to dribble faster, lean towards his crossover more than his in between the legs and his behind the back. Now, size of escape package, Kevin Durant. It was good last year. It's good again this year. Now, your escape move is anytime holding right trigger, doing exactly what we just did. So if the ball is in our left hand, we're going to hold right trigger and then we're going to go up diagonal to the right, just like this animation here. And we get that long crossover animation. If the ball is in our right hand, we want to go to the left. We're going to go up diagonal to the left. I went a little too horizontal there. Up diagonal to the left, and you're going to get this animation here. So again, if you want to do the in between the legs, which I just did on accident, going horizontally to the right. The good thing about Kevin Durant's size of escape package is he has both a good, you know, in between the legs and a crossover animation. So if you guys mess up and you don't, you're not, you know, specific with your angle on the right stick, it's still okay. You're still gonna get a good animation out of it. And if you hold right trigger and you go down a diagonal towards off ball hand, it's actually your behind the back this year. So if the ball is in our left hand, we're holding right trigger. We go down diagonal towards off ball hand, and we're gonna get this behind the back animation. This is pro behind the back. Now again, if the ball is in our right hand, we're gonna go down diagonal to the left. We're gonna get this animation here. Now that move is specifically good whenever you combo it with the snatch back this year. Now the snatch back is just holding right trigger and flicking directly down on the right stick. And if you combo the behind the back and with the snatch back, you don't have to angle it down left or down right. You can just flick directly down. So it's going to give you the snatch back first and then the behind the back after. So it doesn't matter which hand the ball is in. If we hold right trigger, we flick directly down on the right stick. We're going to get that snatch back animation. But if we do it twice a fast, we're going to get the behind the back animation. You see how he does a crossover one way and a behind the back the other way. So if you guys just flick directly down, holding the right stick, you guys can cover a lot of ground going backwards here. So crossover, behind the back, crossover, behind the back, crossover, behind the back. And all I'm doing here, guys, is holding right trigger, flicking directly down on the right stick. Now, this is good for sizing up your opponent because then you can run out of this move. You guys can either run out towards the on ball, towards the you know ball hand, or you guys can run towards the off ball hand, just like you see here. So something like this is very simple because you're holding right trigger the whole time. You're just doing one control on the right stick going directly down. 
and then whenever you want you can just run out of the move any direction you can go towards the ball hand or towards the off ball hand now another thing that i add into my combos is the pro regular breakdown combo all you have to do is be stationary you don't hold turbo on this move and you flick directly up on the right stick and you get these three in between the legs here. And again, this is a faster animation. He's dribbling the ball faster. And it's weird to see on a tall build like a 6'10 or a 6'11. And the very last single move that we're going to go over is the misdirection behind the back, which is the hardest move to do again in the game. It was the hardest move to do last year. It again is the hardest singular move to do this year. Now we're going to hold right trigger. We're going to flick down diagonal towards the off ball hand, just like we're doing this behind the back here. Just like we're doing this, right? We're going down a diagonal behind the back there, but our left stick is going to get involved now. So we're going to go hold right trigger. The ball is in our left hand. I'm going to flick down diagonal to the right with my right stick. But after that, I'm shortly going to flick down diagonal to the left with my left stick. So my right stick is going away from the ball hand and my left stick is going towards the ball hand. So I'm going to try to do it right here and I get this animation here. Get this little misdirection. Now, it's easier to do whenever you're comboing it or flowing it together with other moves, but this is the principle, right? The ball is on our left hand, holding right trigger. We're going down to angle on the right stick, look at the controller cam, and then shortly after, we're moving the left stick down to angle to the opposite side. Again, if the ball is in our right hand, we're going to hold right trigger, go down to angle to the left, away from the ball hand with our right stick, and our left stick is going to go down to angle towards the ball hand. So you're going to get something that looks like this. I messed up right there. You know, the timing is a little, a little... You know, I'm only good with the left hand, I guess. The timing is a little bit more harsh, but as you see right here, we can get the move just like that. So before we get into the combos, guys, I want you guys to know that you can burst out of any of these moves. So say we do a simple, you know, Giannis crossover. Remember, that's the fastest animation that he has in the size up. If we just do the Giannis crossover, we can then speed boost out. Or even if we go towards the off ball hand on the speed boost, we hit the cross and now we're going this way and we can create some offense. Same thing with the escape cross that we learned. Holding right trigger, going up diagonal towards the off ball hand. We can do this and then continue to hold right trigger and we can get a burst out of that move. And you guys could always speed boost away from the ball hand like you're going to see right here and then get a speed boost that way. We went over earlier the snatch back into the behind the back and we just keep doing it until we feel comfortable enough that we have enough space to explode out of this little sides up here. And we could speed boost either way off of that. But now we can start getting into comboing moves together. So we're going to hold right trigger. We're going to do Kevin Durant's escape crossover move. Holding right trigger. The ball is in our left hand. We're going to flick up the angle towards the right. We're going to have this animation, right? So now we're going to let go of right trigger, right? So we're going to we're gonna hold right trigger for the first move, right? We're going to get this animation. Once we're here, we're going to let go of the right trigger. And then go up the angle again towards the off ball hand. Just like this, we're going to get the crossover move, right? And then after this, the ball is in our left hand. We're going to do a misdirection. Now, if you can't do a misdirection, you can find another move to substitute in instead of the misdirection. So we're going to hold right trigger. We're going to flick down diagonal to the right on the right stick, down diagonal towards the ball hand with the left stick. We're going to do the right stick first and then the left stick after. So we're holding right trigger. We're going to go up diagonal to the right just like this. We're going to let go of right trigger go up diagonal to the left for a simple crossover move and then we're going to hold right trigger again and get that misdirection behind the back animation and when you put it all together it can look something like this so we combo three moves very fastly together i don't know if fastly is a word but that's the word i'm using pretty fast together so if you guys can work on just this three move combo i know the first two moves are a little easier the last move is a little harder if you're not used to holding turbo and letting go of turbo it will be a little bit more complicated for you but these three moves, if you can get these three moves down, you can combo everything together. So we're holding right trigger, up diagonal to the right, letting go, up diagonal to the left. And then we're doing the misdirection with the right trigger held. And then just like all of my combos, this is infinite. The ball is in our right hand now. So what can we do? We can hold right trigger, up diagonal to the left, let go of right trigger, up diagonal to the right, hold right trigger, misdirection behind the back. Again, look where we're at. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I messed up a little bit, but it's okay. You can't really tell because, you know, I have a lot of good animations on this 610. But if you guys can get these first three moves down, you guys can start comboing, you know, these type of moves together. I'm messing up and just freeze down a little bit. But if you guys stick with these three moves here, the right trigger crossover, the no right trigger crossover, the misdirection behind the back, right trigger crossover, no right trigger crossover, misdirection, right trigger crossover. You guys see where I'm going with this? 
this 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 could be an infinite combo for you not only i'm not gonna you know have this combination and go out to the park and try to do it over and over again no this is to get my muscle memory and my timing down in between animations so i can flow them together whenever i have to flow them together in the park or in the wreck right the hold the right trigger boom boom just like that and just like all of my combos you can you can burst out out at any time anytime you want you're holding right trigger you do the first move it's there we're gone or you know the other angles there we do the first move we're running to the left or, or we go to the second move so we're holding right trigger let go of right trigger this this you know we're, we're able to go left there or if we do it again so we hold right trigger for the first cross don't hold right trigger for the second cross and now we're this way so you can you're you're threatening the defender that you can go either way and again if you guys get to the last move right this misdirection you guys can go either way out of the misdirection right so you guys are a threat of going any direction and that's what you need you can't just be one dimensional going one way and again if you guys are having a tough time doing the misdirection behind the back right if that is a tough you know uh, you know animation for you to get we can hold right trigger. Let's go back to the first two crosses. So everybody should be able to get this holding right trigger for the first move and then let, letting go of right trigger for the second move. We can do that, right? So instead of the misdirection behind the back, let's add a snatch back into it. So hold right trigger for the first one, let go of right trigger for the second one, and then hold right trigger, go directly down for a snatch back, right? And now we're getting into, you know, another combination. So holding right trigger for the first one, we're going up diagonal to the right. Letting go of right trigger, going up, down, to the left. Holding right trigger, going directly down on the right stick, right? So now we have this animation. But the snatchback also has an infinite combo to it with just flicking down on the right stick while you're holding turbo. So if we need to create more space, we do something like this. We just keep flicking down. Okay, then we're back at the perimeter. Now what can we do from here? Hold right trigger, little cross. You know, you can you can combo the, the turbo cross in the no turbo cross into anything especially the snatch back let's do a turbo cross into a no turbo cross into a turbo cross into a snatch back right so the only move we're not holding right trigger on is the non turbo cross so we're holding right trigger on the first move going up the angle to the right we're not holding right trigger on the second move going up the angle to the left we're holding right trigger on the third move and the fourth move we're going up the angle to the right and then we're going directly down so when you flow all of this together, you kind of start getting, you know, some combinations in your game. And again, the snatchback has an infinite combo. So if we do this combo, we can come back here. We can come back. And now we're back here. We can get it back into our combo. Boom. And we got this combo in our bag. And then we can burst out at any time. Those are the only moves you need on a 610 to be, you know, a threat from all angles. And for my more intermediate guys that can do the, you know, the misdirection behind the back, you're even more of a threat because you're hopping back. Boom, 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 boom. You know, you can, all I'm doing is all the moves I just showed you and messing up a lot. But all I'm doing is the moves I just showed you. Now, you don't want to do too many, obviously, because, you know, your stamina is cooked on these taller builds. But you don't need to do too much to be a threat. So you take these moves and you get creative with it, right? Maybe I do a turbo cross into the misdirection, turbo cross, little cross, and I'm gone. Now, I, I do recommend you guys to put mid range on your builds. I obviously can't make one, but. If you guys get that 84 mid range on your build, I'm pretty sure it's a threshold for some type of, you know, mini magician. Mini magician is a big W. And having a build that's slower, right? Having a slower build, like a 610 plus build, it is going to be harder to beat a defender to the rim. So if you can angle them out and go to, you know, the mid range area and you guys can actually hit your mid range shots, you know, using the basic pull up, you can be a threat from anywhere on the court and you can be a lot harder to guard, right? And then, you know, speed boosting either direction, you could start becoming a problem on these 6, 10 and taller builds. So I hope this was enough for you guys for the first dribble tutorial of the 6, 10. Now, there are, you know, more moves that are a little bit more intermediate and there are new animations that are going to come out throughout the season. But I feel like this is a very good starting point for most people. So if this video helped you out at all, go ahead and drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want more content like this. And if you guys have a Twitter page and you guys start doing these combos online, go ahead, post them on Twitter and tag me so I can see what's up. I'll be able to show some love over there on Twitter. Now, I appreciate all the love this month, man. It has been a life changing month. I hope to keep bringing, you know, this content to help you guys better improve your game. Now, with that all being said, man, I love y'all boys, man. And I'll catch y'all in the next video or stream.